We're going to start this fly with a size 12 jig hook and a quarter inch bead. And I use silver in this on this fly, but go I have had a lot more luck with gold. And we're going to use red thread because we're going to leave a hot spot right behind the bead. Then we're going to tie in three strands of pheasant tail and we're going to leave about half the length of the hook shank for the tail. I'm going to tie in some flashaboo and I'm going to use the real fine stuff like you would use for streamers because I'm going to use it as a rib. Now you want to take this thread and build up the body. You want to kind of like taper from the tail up to the bead. So I taper the body with the thread before I wrap it. Peacock up. Now you want to take this thread and build up the body. You want to kind of like taper from the tail up to the bead. So I taper the body with the thread before I wrap it. So peacock up. Take that floss and you're gonna rip this fly with it. That's why I use the really fine, fine stuff. So, because you don't want to cover up all the heat So, rip this up and tie it off right behind the bead. Now we're going to tie it in a Hungarian partridge and we're going to tie it at the tip first and we're going to wrap this wet hackle style, try and make all the fibers go back towards the tail and we're going to wrap it around one time, tie it off and that'll be our legs. Okay, I hope you like that fly. And in between there, man, I used a silver bead that 
gold works way better. We didn't have any luck with the silver bead. Put a gold bead on there. Deadly, deadly fly. I'm telling you. Great for your infant. Look for your infant video coming up where we use these flies. And it had a great day. So, you guys have a good day. Thank you for being here for another Booze and Bugs. Have a drink. Have a good day. And I'll see you next week. Peace.